Hello, and welcome to this episode of Man of Watches. In this episode, I will be telling you how you can tell the difference between a fake and a real Rolex. I have here my uh, Rolex 16570 uh, Explorer 2, and I'm just going to tell you a few telltale signs. Uh, most of them are very simple to follow, and uh, they won't require any extra money or traveling to a watchmaker. So the first way you can tell if your Rolex is fake or real is I'll just try and focus it on here is by looking at the second hand. A second hand on a real Rolex will sweep eight times per second and it really looks like it's a sweeping sort of a movement as you can see there. On uh, maybe 80% of the fake Rolexes it just ticks like um, on uh, regular quartz watches. Um, Rolex watches uh, bar the oyster quartz are all following this trend of eight times per second you can't really see the ticks, but it looks like it's, uh, it really looks like it's a sweeping motion of the second hand. second way you can tell is by looking at the date magnifier, or the Cyclops. The Cyclops on a Rolex will magnify the date by two and a half times the original. So it will be very large and very obvious when you're looking at it front on. On a fake Rolex, it might only magnify it by uh, one and a half times, maybe two times uh, the original. The third way you can tell is by, and this sounds complicated, but it's actually very easy, something you can do at home just with like a, a pen or a small object, is by looking at that hole just there on the case. You pop that out, and that will remove the bracelet. Now, on the Rolex case, uh, it will have a number. I'm not sure if it's a serial number or a case number, I'm, but I, honestly, I think it's a case number from memory. And um, on, on the fakes, uh, this case number is, is very rarely there. Um, the fourth way you can tell is something which will require you to go to a watchmaker, unless of course you have the tools, is to remove the case back, which is obviously the scene just here. Uh, when you remove the case back, uh, you'll obviously see uh, the Rolex movement. On a fake, the movement will be very obviously fake. Um, the Rolex movement is very distinguishable, it's beautiful. On a fake, it might even be quartz, um, it might be very cheap, poorly made Chinese um, automatic movement. Um, the fifth way you can tell is just by assessing the weight of the watch. On a Rolex, the weight will be, uh, be quite heavy, you know, it might weigh a couple of hundred grams. On a fake, it will be cheap, it will feel like maybe wearing one of those, uh, you know, the swatches that everyone has as a kid, you know, yeah, or a Casio. It will feel very light, it will feel very cheap, like a, a very cheap rubber sort of a watch. Um, the last way that I'll tell you in this video, which is obviously just a, a very quick and easy um, uh, video to tell her if it watches fake or real, just by doing some of those basic ways. It's just by assessing the weight of the watch. Um, uh, uh, sorry, the overall quality of the watch. Um, like, Rolexes are expensive. They're several thousand dollars uh, at a minimum. And this is for one reason and one reason only. The build quality of Rolexes. Rolexes are perfect watches. They will be right in every single way. Um, everything down to the R on the Rolex will be perfect. There, there won't be a single imperfection on the watch. Else they chuck it out. They don't use it. Um, they don't sell it. Rolexes are perfect. There you can see the uh, sweeping motion of the hand there. Rolex is perfect. Um, and, and so, if there's if there's a problem with the crown, if there's the wrong number of uh, uh, of prongs on the crown, if, if one of the things isn't quite circular, if one of the dial markers isn't quite circular, then the watch is a fake. Rolexes are perfect. Um, some other general, general ways, I'm just gonna try and show you, bear with me for a moment please. I'm just unscrewing uh, the crown here. Is just look at the way um, the watch is rotating. Uh, a lot, of, a lot of you can see here, the watch is sort of rotating very perfectly when I'm moving, uh, moving the minute hand on the fakes. It will often won't be like this whatsoever, and you'll sort of see, um, you know, sort of very jagged like. Um, it, will, it won't be smooth. It will be very jagged, and um, it won't uh, turn very well. It will, it will be quite obviously fake. So these are just a few ways. Um, that you can really tell if your Rolex is fake or real. This doesn't just apply to the Explorer 2, it applies to all Rolex automatic models, which are nearly all Rolexes. Um, if you like the video, um, 
please drop me a like because I'm really struggling to get my uh, channel off the ground and it would really, really help uh, with getting the views as well. If you could subscribe, uh, I upload watch content. Um, I'm doing it far more regularly now. This is my second video in two days and I am to do it once every day that I'll be uploading a, a very good high quality watch video. Um, so please email me with any questions, comments, queries related uh, to watches. I can help you buy watches, things like that. Um, or, or the channel in general. I, I really appreciate hearing from you guys. So, um, thank you for watching. Bye.